Hello and welcome. We are in Jerusalem for game day two of the Basketball Champions League regular season. We are coming to you from Group B. There's Hapoel Jerusalem. Welcome. The Queen AEK from Athens. A battle of two heavyweights here in Group B. Two of the more iconic names in this competition and two teams which know each other well, having both featured in the same regular season group last year. So there are the scores from Group B so far. Asta Vector going to 2-0, and as do Burgos with victories last night. Our game, and then Telnet's Giants Antwerp and Van Derma facing off later on tonight to round up the group. Those are the eight teams that are part of these 32 teams currently in the competition at the regular season stage. They've been divided into four groups with the top four from each of those groups moving forward into the playoff stages, into the top 16. There we can see the current standings. We said Burgos and Vector went to 2-0 and o last night. One of our teams here tonight will join them as AK and uh, Hapoel Jerusalem both recorded victories last week in their opening games. So one of these two will move to two wins and zero losses and join the other two teams at the top of Group B. And for our visitors, AEK, a very impressive debut to them in their fourth season in the Basketball Champions League. There is their lineup. They were led last week by Keith Langford. The veteran had 27 points. He wears the number five journey jersey. And the 2018 FIBA Basketball Champions League champions, having defeated Monaco in the final, started their season well with that 102 to 82 win last week. Jerusalem, however, a lot of carryover from their impressive season last year. A lot of guys back with uh, this team. They had a, a slender win, 73 to 69. Last week it was against Van Dermado on the road in Turkey, so not an easy place for them to go and play. And uh, last week they were led by uh, Tashon Thomas, who had 16, Jacobin Brown, who had 19 as well. The two double figure scorers for their team on that particular occasion. Uh, there will be two guys looked at to have good performances here tonight as well. So, AEK Athens qualified into the regular season automatically as the third place finishes in Greece. You mentioned a strong season for them, strong reputation for Ike in this competition. 2018 champions, uh, as I mentioned, but a strong year last year, 12 and 2. Regular season record, advancing into the quarterfinals, they lost out to Brosa Bamberg from Germany, a slender 138-136 aggregate loss. It was a, a four-point deficit after the first road game. That was their undoing, really, just no way back, despite winning the second leg at home for the Greek team. They have only lost two of their last 13 away games in the Basketball Champions League, like Athens. But that last one was the defeat against Borussia Bamberg. And a game that really sent them out of the competition last year. So Hapoel Jerusalem have lost only one of their nine home games in the Basketball Champions League. He went a very strong opening season, a debut season here at home in this competition. However, that one loss came in December 2018 against Ike, their opponents here today. So Ike, the only team to have tasted victory here in Jerusalem in the Champions League. And that really shows you how close these two teams are. Finishing third in Israel last year, another automatic qualifier into the regular season stages. A 12-2 record, identical to Ike for Jerusalem last year. They 
also went down in the quarterfinals, losing out to eventual finalists Tenerife. They won the first game in the quarterfinals against the Spanish Giants, but went down in the second leg, blown away by 17 points on the road in Tenerife. Now, disappointing return, really, after a very strong regular season from the Israeli team. Something I'm sure they'll be hoping to build on, said with a number of these players returning after a strong season last year. And here comes Deshaun Thomas. And then finishing off for Jerusalem, Jacoba Brown, leading scorer last week. He's a man who scored 21 points the last time these two teams met on this floor, leading his team to victory. Oh, sorry, that was in the road game in Greece in uh, game day one last year. There he is, Jacobin Brown. Seems to have some issues putting his jersey on. It's back to front right now. Players will shake hands and then they will head for their final stages of warm up. We look at three officials, an experienced crew. There's only Baldini and Lizka, and three officials from today's game. So, a changed lineup for Reich. After the strength and depth we saw from them last year, a number of new faces, new head coach on the sideline as well, but still the same quality throughout. And they will go with Langford, Chrysikopoulos, Gikas, Mavaridis, and Howard St. Bruce. St. Bruce, one of the only holdovers from the team last year. And as I mentioned, a new man in charge, Elias Papatheodoru, the man who's come over from Pau Thessaloniki this season. Well respected coach in Greece, a man who has been at the Champions League level before with Pauk as well. Uh, a, uh, a struggle of a start for Ike domestically in Greece. They'll be hoping this competition can help get that season underway, really. Their visitors, oh, sorry, the hosts tonight Tamir Black, James Feldin, Suleiman Bremo. Trent Lockett and Deshaun Thomas will make up the five for their head coach, Odin Kitesh. Man, again, returning for this Jerusalem team after that strong debut for them last year. So, as we said, these two teams were both in Group C of the regular season last year, faced off against each other twice. It was the road team that won both games last year. He opened up game day one, 75 to 79 victory for Jerusalem in Greece on that occasion in Athens. And we said Jacoba Brown, 21 points, had in eight assists as well for him off the bench for Jerusalem to help them to that victory. However, they were undone here, 83 to 70 in game day eight. As, uh, Jerusalem had a good scoring output from their returning players. Feldin 16, Thomas 13, Brown 14, but it wasn't enough to get victory. Howard St. Bruce had 13 points for Ike in that victory here in Jerusalem on the road. So Timmer back, uh, the Champions League best young player last season will be out there to start off once again for Hapoel Jerusalem. That back help combination with that man right there really is a fearsome duo. One of the best in this competition, Feldin, with his ability to score the ball, especially from the perimeter. And Blatt, the sharp shooter and distributor. 
Uh, what a game. This is hit here in game day two. Not sure you're going to see a better one. This competition. Mike in their traditional black and yellow. The black jerseys on the road for them. Hamwell Jerusalem in their red uniforms here at home. Now St. Roos coming off the good performance last time these two teams met, helping them to the victory here on the road. Can he do the same again? Or will it be Jerusalem that become the third team to 2 0 in Group B? Hello and welcome to Jerusalem. Game day two of the Basel Champions League is up, underway. Possession for Tamir Black and Jerusalem then. There's Black. Just to the inside, finds Thomas. Thomas just glides in for the easy two. Not sure what happened to the defense there from Mike Athens. But on the board already, the Israeli team is Athens. Gigas to St. Bruce. He reverses it. They're trying to go to the inside. Good quick move from Amaridis, but he loses his putting position. Possession will stay with the Greek team. You see Black draws a double team. Nice little pass. No one rotating over quick enough to stop Thomas. First score for him. St. Bruce then trying to find some space. Amaridis screens. Bruce will take the triple. Way short though. And Jerusalem going the other way. Thomas screens for Black. Flips it over. Feldin now. Feldin gets it back once again. And now he'll glide in for the easy two. Back to back layups for Jerusalem. Good strong start for them. Still searching for that first score of the night. They're looking to go to Chris Coppolis down on the post. A little miscommunication between him and Kikas. Goes out of bounds. So Nikos Kikas. Some good experience with the Greek national team last summer. Or last season. Did nothing about that drive though from James Feldin. There's now once more. Feldin in his hands. Thomas. The two black. Black for three. Too strong, not a room for him. Right, as always, controlling the tempo. Sure, they're in no hurry. Mr. Coppolis, triple team to find Mavaridis. Could it take it quite cleanly into the hands of Langford? Langford now, Gikas, good shooter, and he knocks it down. Langford creates. All the attention, and Gikas finishes it off to get Ike on the board. Feldin at the point. On the fight. Gikas and Langford's going to get the steal. Sorry, St. Bruce gets the steal. He'll back it out. Gikas holding and waiting. Uses the screen, Mavaridis. Visigopoulos will take the three and rattle it home. Same spot twice in a row for the Greeks then, and now they have the lead. Six to four in the early stages here. Inos Kusiakopoulos, his first points of the night. That's a great pass off his weak hand from Nikos Gigas. Thomas. Looking around, fakes it, goes straight at Navaridis and gets the score. Oh, Thomas faked the handoff. Just a little hesitation from the defense. That's all the space that he needed. 6 0 in the paint, but 6 0 for Ike from beyond the three point line. It's Langford gives it over, Gikas. Now Navaridis screens. Good skip pass. Lovely ball movement from Athens. Langford for a triple. Third three of the night already for Ike then. Black. And it's known for his three-point shooting. Steps inside and knocks it down from the foul line. 
First points of the night for Blatt. Manford in no hurry, trying to find some room. Closely guarded by Lockett on that far side. And turnover, Malamaridis. Just a miscommunication. That's twice we've seen that from Athens already. So the possession for Abuel Jerusalem. Jardine again, brings it down, handles the ball. Thomas, here is Lockett. He's been anonymous so far. Thomas wide open. Foul line jumper is good. Strong start from Tashon Thomas. Three of three from the field. He's got six of the ten for Jerusalem. Langford isolating against the Primo. Takes the tough jumper, and that's what Langford does. Makes shots, the lefty, out of the University of Kansas. First field goal of the night. First two-point field goal, sorry, for him, five. Look at this, Langford just dancing with it. One way, then the other, little step back, saw the space that he needs. is three. So Primo to the hands of Feldin. Now Feldin comes off the screen, finds Primo for three, and he gets it to go. Well, Jerusalem, a team known for their three-point shooting. It's been Ike. It's been doing the damage for me on the three-point line in the early stages here. Jerusalem joined the party on that one from Primo. It's now Kisikopoulos spins to the baseline. The double team comes. He finds Mavridis. Looked like he lost it on the way up. But the foul is going to be called against Trent Lockett. And Dimitrios Mavridis will be at the line. The patience from Kisikopoulos. Doesn't go. And first substitution of the night sees uh, Jonas Kuchulis come in. He's replaced it, replaced Kusikopoulos. Kuchulis, a strong game last week. Yeah, Lithuanian. 17 points, three of six from beyond the three point line. He was. Now, oh, Brian has it. Feldin comes off the screen, knocks it down. Gas holding and waiting. Chulis. Go to the inside. Mavaridis to that right hand. Gotta take that away when you're guarding him. This is on this occasion. Feldin waiting. Thomas comes to set the screen. Feldin's got some room. Finds Thomas on the roll. Great extra pass. Black. The triple is good. Great team basketball from Jerusalem. Uh, we've got an early timeout here. Some hot shooting from both teams. If you 
Thomas with a hot start here. Three of three from the field, six points, two assists as well. And speed and athleticism, a bit of it too much in the early stages. Or Ike started off with that play. Hasn't looked back. Three point shooting of both teams, been impressive. Five of seven they've combined off so far. Zayt trailing 18 to 12, bring it in. Now look into the inside, Matulis had the switch, but defense now gets away from that matchup. The Slaughter fresh into the game, into the low post, Michael Slaughter kicks it out. St. Roos at the buzzer sounds. Buries the triple. Another three for Ike. See, they're four of their 15 points coming. So 12 of their 15, four threes. Uh, from beyond the three point line. Feld looks all around, finally finds himself open. Can't finish the running shot in the lane though. Pull up. Langford shot, does it get the roll? Thomas pushing in the opposite direction. He spins. Fouled by Matulis. for Jerusalem then. As we see uh, Mendauskas Kukshus for the first time, big man. There's number 49 and also Jacoba Brown enters as well. He won the number 69. So Kukshus rolls to the ring. Brown looks at him. Puts it back. Lost. I fell deep. Langford going the other way. Good pass. St. Bruce, the easy finish. Kendrick Ray has entered the fray for Ike as well. Is it going to come with the double team against Brown? Jerusalem beat the press though. Now Jacoba Brown finds Kukshus. And he gets the easy finish. Gauskas Kukshus played for Neptunus last year in the Basketball Champions League. Easy finish from him. He's swiftly onto the board. Langford. Langford coming off the screen now. Kicks it far side. Matulis for three. Is good. Fifth three of the first quarter for Ike Athens. Brown back to Feldin. Brown once more. Guarded by Slaughter. It's going to push everyone out the way. Slaughter, gonna reach in, forces the drive, misses everything, good defense, and here comes Athens, but they'll turn it over. A poor pass, sees it straight back to Feldin, and he knocks down the three, you can't give that man that much room. James Feldin pulls up in rhythm, knocks down the three. Seven points for him. Raised response, a quick one, but it doesn't go. Brown grabs in the rebound. Coven Brown off the higher pick. Hesitates, goes again. Oh, pass too strong. I don't think anyone's going to catch Kendrick Ray. He gets the easy one. So what might have been at one end for Hapwell Jerusalem. A good pass, just not held by Kukshus. And then uh, turns into a layup in the opposite direction. Another turnover. Langford. Waits, now he'll attack, draws the foul, and gets it to go! Langford looked like he was passing it, heard the whistle, and just hanging in the air, threw it up. The ability to make the shot, 
with the foul. Poor play from Hapoel Jerusalem. Two very bad back-to-back -back turnovers. As Langford makes the pay. Goldin heads to the bench. Isaiah Cousins comes in and Nimrod Levy comes in. Black as well enters. First, oh, sorry, the bonus doesn't go. Now the near turnover. Cousins. And off a couple of screens. Closely guarded, a lot of attention. And here, Michesco all the way. Tough looking shot from Cousins. Not sure that's what they were looking for. And Ike with the one point lead. We'll get it over the half and now hold it. Wait, here. Here comes St. Roos. All the way. St. Roos just straight down Main Street. No one slowing him down. And Jerusalem, after looking comfortable a couple of minutes ago, really lost their way in his final few minutes of the first quarter. Jacoba Brown trying to find something to happen. Kupchus at the other end of the quarter gets it to go. Well, Jerusalem, perhaps a little bit too easy for them the way they were going. They will score on the buzzer to bring it back to a one-point lead. But I, 26 points in the first quarter on the road. Great return for them. And as we hit the, uh, the interval mark here, 26 to 25. There's the numbers. Look at those percentages. Incredible from both teams. You know, we've barely gone to the free throw line. Right, just one of three, but both teams so efficient offensively. They both shot it extremely well from beyond the three point line. And really, I think a lot of the conversations right now from the coaching staff will be about the defensive end. Neither team managed to make any headway. Feldy returns to action then for this second quarter. Seven points for him. And you see three or four from the field. Strong start from him. Strong start from Langford on the other side. That's a matchup to watch. Langford matches him with seven points. That's added three assists. And Ike will begin quarter number two with possession. Slaughter reverses it. Now St. Bruce. St. Bruce gets to see the bench. Goes to the inside. Slaughter back to the Cuban, and he will make another one. Oh, St. Roos, now first man into double digits. He has 10. Four point lead for Ike. Coven Brown dances the sideline. Now kicks it out, open triple. Doesn't go for Nimrod Levy. And Ike, no chance to run, they'll pass ahead. Langford dangerous with open floor, pulls up, and that's why I said he's dangerous, Keith Langford. There is yet another one. 20 points now from Langford and St. Bruce combined. Yes, lighting the nets here. Slaughter called for the foul. And both coaches will be talking about the defensive end. There's not been much adjustment here. Langford just a little easy step in. 
finds the space and right here, mismatch. Just couldn't get in and out quick enough. The guard sent Roos. Evie just puts it on the floor this time. Finds the open man in Cousins, his three. Does it go? Good offensive rebound, but the tipping is needed. Levy gets the tip to go. 12 points in the paint for Jerusalem, but they still trail by five. Ray pulls up another three. This one doesn't go. Brown. Ball is kicked. Stays with Jerusalem. Like he was trying to get between the two defenders there, split the full screen. Papathiodoru uh, calling the sets on the side. Coach Katesh looks on. Just goes out. To Sean Thomas. Very strong opening, nine minutes for him. It's needed back into the fray. Now by five. Cousins. This is the screen. Goes the other way. Between his legs. Pulls up. Tough shot in the end. I'm sure, the decision making right now is there. Cousins. Taking a couple of tough ones. Now he's got to work on this defensive end. That's Kendrick Ray. Ray. Trying to direct the traffic. Eventually does get it to Langford. They'll try and clear out for him. He can see the attention defensively from Jerusalem. Guarding Langford, he finds Ray. Ray, too strong. Good rebound from Thomas. Starts the break. Giving it over to Brown. He'll take his three. And Jacoba Brown, a man who can fill it up for the rest of them. Knocks down his first points of the night. Two point game now. Bruce, they'll isolate him. Gets to the lane, sells the fake, draws the foul. Crowd don't like it. You hear the frustration from them. Oh, Levi. It's called for it. It's just him getting in the air, that's the problem. He jumps forwards. So we'll go against him. So Bruce will be at the line. Katesh, not happy. First gets the friendly roll. Go so three point lead for Ike Jerusalem off the screen. Feldin fouled by Langford. Katesh taken off the jacket, not happy despite the fact his team got the call. So Brown brings it in. Cousins now, all in his hands, loses his man. Now he's got some space, good pass to Thomas. Thomas, no hesitation, shot clock down to five, tough three from Feldin, but he makes it. I mean, he took off as soon as it came out of his hand. He knew it was down. Don't forget, this is a man who went nine of 12 in a game in the Basketball Champions League last season. Game day five, last year, one to remember for James Feldin. 
35 points, 9 of 12 against Nimburg on that particular occasion. Already got two threes here on this way to the 10. As Trent Lockett comes back in. Thanks for too much space for him. Not sure where the defense was. Langford just comes off the easy screen. And you cannot give Keith Langford that much space. Criminal defense as Feldin a good pass. Levy runs into trouble. Ray through the gears, glides in. Can't get it. Jonas Matulis, the offensive rebound. St. Roos in no hurry. Goes back into Matulis, low post. This pass to Ray. Ray putting it on the floor. Scoops it up and it goes for Kendrick Ray. He disappeared into the trees and all of a sudden came up on the other side with the finish. It's Papa Theodoro going through some instructions with Kendrick Ray. But look at this one. Into the lane. Splits between two. And Kendrick Ray goes to four. Right, Athens have the five-point lead. 38 to 33. To action and Jerusalem down five, have possession. Off the screen, lock it, stops, foul on jumper, buries it. Play coming out of the timeout to Trent Lockett. Scoreless on the game before that one, but showed his offensive ability. No team shooting it great from the field. And now Dikas back in. Oh, Easy pass inside, Slaughter out to Matulis. Matulis bullies his way to the ring. Oh, Slaughter on the offensive rebound. Trying to find some rooms, picked up his dribble, finds Matulis on the cut, and he gets the score. The whistles, the cheers coming out. I'm not sure if that's for the referees or the poor defense from Jerusalem in this second quarter. Jacoba Brown finds Thomas. Thomas, far side. Three for Feldin, does it go? And once more, Ike coming at you. And St. Bruce pulls it out. He'll go to the open side. St. Bruce takes contact and goes to the line. Lock it. Another man who doesn't like the call. St. Bruce played uh, every second of this game so far. Be rewarded with two shots here. Name high 11. Oh, sorry. He's second on his team because Keith Langford has 13. So Bruce has a chance to tie him. If he can make both free throws. First is good. It's 28 year old Cube and then 15.6 assists last week. Second year with Ike, a regular in the Basketball Champions League. He's obviously played for Nimburg as well. It's Jacoba Brown brings it down. Seven point lead, the largest of the game. 
for Ike. There's a foul is called. Goes against Dimitri Keklam and Kiss. See his first action, big man. There he is, trying to get up at the point of the screen. He's going to come trapped. Has to get quickly back to Thomas as Feldin curls and finishes. Great action away from the ball. personal five of seven from the field as straight into the game Primo glides in for two makes it a three-point game Dukas is slow it's a bit standstill for right here they go to the inside they turn it over Feldin comes off, goes over to Brown. Now Brown turns the corner, takes contact. That's a rejected, will stay with Jerusalem. He goes over to the official. Brown wanted a foul called. There was a lot of contact, contact against Keklamanik Akis. There, it should to be a foul. So the timeout will be called here. 42 plays 39. Knight still in the lead. will make the first cut. It's the three from Primo misses everything. Possession back with Ike. Ikas brings it down. Backford remains on the bench. Oh. And that's great. Just manages to get hold of it. Attack here against Brimo. Brimo, the on ball defender, does a good job to cut him off. Kikas, top three, gets it to go. Kikas, second three, six points for him. It's a foul and finish. Will it be at one? Thomas had a good seal. Foul was on the pass. Ikas, six points, perfect. Two of two, three-point shooting for him. Uh, 
out against Dimitrios Kamanakis. And it is two free throws. Team fouls against the Greeks. It's Thomas at the line. Can't get the first to go. Field, three of three. This one from the line makes the second. Kakamanakis goes to the bench. Slaughter's come back in to replace him. Matulis posting up. Waiting for that double team to come. He is fouled. Crowd did not like it. Lock it again. Frustrated. He's going to be careful here. see it from that angle referees right there you've got to think he's on top of the plate not get frustrated though Cover Brown back in to replace him lock it heads out with three personal fouls Chulis sets the feet for the travel he says he passed it before he came back down black back into the game fits thomas once more oh good recovery from slaughter but thomas keeps it alive finds black feet set Came up short, whistle's gone. Foul, everybody looking around. <laughs> Seems it's going to go against Ike, will remain here. It's away from the ball. It's a little shove in the back from the Judas, pushing his man underneath the rig. So Bramo couldn't get the offensive rebound. Thomas goes out. Salmonson comes in, first action. Or, um, Maidan Salmonson then, 24 year old centre, featured for the Israeli national team this past year, as a number of these players have. Tulis heads out, Langford back in for this final two minutes. A push now from Ike. It's probably what they're hoping for. Right before the half, get some momentum. But Bramo gets into this lead with his first free throw. And makes the second. Slaughter. Sets the screen now for Kikas. Kikas stops, pops, way short though. Yeah, both feet on the line, but lovely backdoor cut. Kikas with the finish. A beautiful assist from Slaughter as well. Credit to him. As Nikas Kikas, known for his perimeter shooting, but saw the glimmer of space. Salmonson goes out. Feldin. Five on the clock for him, gets the switch. Attacks against Chrysikopoulos. Does a great job though, Chrysikopoulos, to keep his man in front. Spider-Man, as he is known. With some good defense. There's the backdoor pass, and Kikas glide into the ring. That's a two-point field goal for him. Slaughter, and there's the man with the assist. 0 0.2 on the clock for the 24. This is turned over. Kikas running ahead. Chrysikopoulos loses it. Eventually gets it over to St. Bruce. Will now wait. Can't pull it out. Slaughter has it. Chrysikopoulos steps inside. Has to use his height advantage over Feldin. And he'll turn it over. Poor pass out. It's now Jacoba Brown. 
45 seconds left on this one. Maimo finds Blatt. Blatt has felt he didn't find him though. No hesitation from Jerusalem here. Shot clock low again. And a technical foul is going to be called against Katesh. He did not like the call. Couldn't see it from our angle. I'm sure we'll get to see it again. So, Primo went to shoot the three. It was blocked right in front of the Jerusalem bench. Katash wanted a foul to be called. He wasn't. It wasn't. It sends Langford to the line. Oh. Let's have another look. Let me see. Oh, Katesh will call a timeout. Try and talk it over with his players. Good opportunity this for Ike and the free throw, which they couldn't capitalize on. They will have possession as well because it was theirs when the technical was called. So 24 shot clock is not in operation anymore. 23 seconds left of this first half. Five point lead. Cats will hold and wait. They're going for the final shot here. There is a difference between shot and game, though. They're going to try and attack Marcus Slaughter, and it's an offensive foul. Shot to the face. Oh, like it. He can take a, a big hit. The elbow from Slaughter. Couldn't see it at that angle. the screen here so the referees can look at this one it's not as much in it actually as I first thought I don't think like a bad one because of the reaction of Brahma he did take a, a hit there's no doubt about that like foul is called so two shots plus possession great opportunity here must come back in to shoot these free throws two shots for him possession for Jerusalem First is good. Slaughter's gone to the bench. Second personal against Marcus Slaughter. Young. Nikos Kapapoulos is in for his first action. Where's the number 27? So now Nimrod Leve comes in. Primo goes out. Oh, 
over Brown with the entry man. Come and get it back. Ten seconds on the clock. Brown isolates one on one against Langford. Stops, fires over Langford and gets it to go. Tough finish from Jacob and Brown. And that's a great final minute for Happerwell Jerusalem. Trailing for a large percentage of this first half. They've got themselves right back into the game. And that score, this one here, from Jacob and Brown. Sees them come within one. After half time break. to the chest of Langford, just managed to move him a little. That was the space he needed for the score. And that's a confirmation. 46 to Papua Jerusalem, 47 to Ike. The Queens, as they're known, or well, the Queen has the advantage on the road here in Jerusalem. Very impressive offensively for both teams. 75% for three for Ike. Nine of 12 from beyond the three-point line. Incredible shooting from them. And Jerusalem, five of 12 for themselves. 42%, nothing to uh, be ashamed of, but just so far off. What Ike managed to do in that first 20 minutes. Offensive fest. Langford, St. Roos led the way for Ike, Feldin, Bramo, Thomas contributing for Jerusalem as well. It's a high powered offense from both teams led the charge. We'll look at some of these highlights. A lot of three point shots from Ike in their first half. We'll see a lot of them as we go to the break. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time for second half action. A very intriguing game getting set up here. The two of the heavyweights in Group B. Ike with the one-point lead, 47 to 46.
What an athletic play. Under the basket, Mustafa Ball in the lane, and he held the ball up like the Eiffel Tower, and it was just too easy for the big man. Nice, beautiful move. Really sneaky, smart play. Oh, what a move by Thomas. Throwing it down. Just catch through the lane and throws it down with authority. Slam dunk by Fay. Ibrahim Fay, I said earlier, just throw it up anywhere above the rim and here catch it. Wow, what a play. Oh, he throws it down hard. Great hustle play by Brindisi. Kelvin Marty just hammered it home. Good there for the Sixers, and here comes Jaquan Lewis. Lewis, still Lewis. Oh, what a move off the glass! Offensive rebound at Goldikas has been good, but he turns it over. Ball kept alive. Martin goes down the floor and gets to the end of the runway and takes off and throws it down for two. And Kelvin Martin. Oh, gets off the two feet, gives it a little windmill action and throws it down. Double dribble to be called. It isn't young. Gets a little slip, throws it up, and then the finish. Once more, it's Kamari Murphy. Sorry, it was Simpson sneaking along the baseline. The Luna is up to Adler Lund. Back to Lund Lund. Oh, my Lord. I mean, it's still. Look at the elevation, and he stares it down on the floor. You remember Abdullah Lum.
Welcome back to Jerusalem halftime here. In our group B encounter. This Ike Athens 47, Jerusalem 46 at the interval. Both teams have their leads. Archers 7 for Ike at one stage. Jerusalem, however, had a six point advantage in that first quarter. Two teams that have historically over the last season always fared well for each other on the road. The two games between these two teams last season were won by the visiting teams. And here, once again, it is the road team that leads the way at the half. Very hot shooting from Ike in that first 20 minutes. Nine of 12 from beyond the three-point line they are as a team. As, uh, Chris Ecopolis has made one. He cast two of two. Langford three for three. St. Roos two for three. Matulis one of one. And really, if it wasn't for Kendrick Ray, killing the stats, just going out of two. And uh, Mike Athens would have even been better. And that's how they had their advantage, but you know, Jerusalem six shooting 61% from two point range, 54% uh, overall from them as well. They played their part, that's why it's a close one here. Receive the ball, second pass to Foreman. Marcus, it's a flat screen. If you have to do it, otherwise, try to ask the ball here. You continue. You shift the ball, you shift, you, you, you cut, pass, and Marcus come for the screen. Okay, go for a layup, and you follow the ball. Okay. So that they switch, the first time you ran in the first half, they switch. They didn't want to do it. If they switch, guys, try to find it. See what changes there are coming out of the interval then. And both teams will be discussing that defensive end. We said that at the end of the first quarter. It's rolling nicely for both of them. They can just slow down the opposition, make some sort of changes on that defensive end. It'll go a long way to helping this one. Substitutions in the lineup for Jerusalem. Bartimore, they see him into the lineup. His first action in the game. He joins Jacobin Brown, Feldin, Deshaun Thomas. And for Ike, Chris Coppolis, Ikas Langford. St. Bruce. Slaughter, all out there on the floor. Good step. And. Finish just doesn't roll in for Baltimore. Langford reverses it. Chrysikopoulos, the flare screen. Chrysikopoulos goes the other way. Kikas flips it over. Wide open three. And if you're going to keep shooting like that, Mike are going to be very difficult to slow down here. Wide open three for Chrysikopoulos. Excellent pass from Kikas. Begin the first the way they second the way they did the first. To Moore to the high post. Open jumper. Rolls home for Bruno. Bruno. Reverses to Slaughter. Now, we're backing it down. Fading shot from Langford comes up well short. Jerusalem trying to tie the game. Some more. Back to Feldin. Now Jacobin Brown, powerful backcourt combo between those three. Over to 
Fartimore back to Feldin. Five on the clock. They're going to have to go quickly here. Feldin will just pull the trigger on a three. Can't get it. And Ike grabbing the rebound. Picas brings it down. Sikopoulos spins to the baseline. Lovely little cut, St. Roos. Kick it out, three on the clock, low shot clock for Ike this time. But there, three is good. Another triple. Dikas with his third of the night is three of three. 11 points personal for him. Ike already with two threes here in the second half. Brown off the screen, to the lane. Quick passes, corner three from Bartamore, does it go? St. Roos will look to push here. And now they'll slow, not wait for Slaughter to come screen, he slips. Once more, St. Roos, same play. He comes up short, but a rebound bounces to him. Christopoulos finds the cutting man, Langford can't finish, Slaughter for another offensive rebound. Kikas, shot clock to five, pulled in to hit the ring. And they're going to call it for a travel. See the step back from Kikas. Long way out for him. Thomas hands it over to Omar. Now Jacoba Brown. Dances into the lane. Primo in the corner. His three doesn't go. Bounces out. Good play from Jerusalem with all their great shooters. Suma Primo can make a three himself. Not sure he's their number one option, though. Defense did a good job of forcing him to be the shooter rather than anybody else on this Jerusalem team. And Langford isolated. Goes back to Gikas though. Quick pass out, St. Bruce with a step along the baseline and tips it home. Mike again opening this up, this lead. Time with the largest, it's been at seven. Armo out to Jacoba Brown. Brown, guided by Chris Gopoulos, Feldin, Baltimore for three. Another empty possession for Jerusalem. Gikas. Nearly had it taken away. Slaughter. Over to St. Roos now. Kiskopoulos. Spin slow. Short hook. Doesn't go. Another offensive rebound. Slaughter has been dominating the glass in the second half. And a well-needed timeout for Jerusalem. Because I have just opened up now their biggest lead of the game at nine points. Marcus Slaughter, four offensive rebounds. Four of his eight come from that end of the floor. And I. We need to buy the lane, big and the big guys, a little bit under, and the girls only when they get here we start the action. Right? Let's run the chin now, some movement. Right? Good chin with a good flow. We eyes only one, two, Zalio not icing two. Some of the strong play of Ike and Howard St. Roos in this second half. 15.7 rebounds for him. He obviously likes this floor. Last time Ike were here, he had 13. Help them to victory. That was last season. But a nine-point lead here, their largest of the game. Black back in. 
get it. Zalmanson also in number 20. Sets the screen and Tamir Black makes it. Much needed score from Jerusalem. As I come down out of the timeout, see where they go. Slaughter rolling. Chrisikopoulos for three. Comes up short. Langford fouled by Jacobin Brown. The inline possession. Sideline possession, second personal foul against Brown. Dikas. To the lane, finds St. Roos, good reposition from him, and a lovely pass in from Ike. Another three! It's Langford once again. Ike, after a couple of misses, now make their 12th three of the night. Four for four for Langford. Brown for three, does it go? Fight for the loose ball, one by Feldy. Now Black. He wants the screen from Zalmanson. Zalmanson rolls, kicks it out, extra pass. Rymo knocks it down on this occasion. A big three from Jerusalem. They had a couple of open looks, they failed to convert. Once again, good team basketball for them. They share the ball beautifully. Langford against Feldy, spins, fades, acts, doesn't get it though. Jerusalem, little momentum here, going the opposite direction, Feldy wide open, in and out for Feldy. Good look for Jerusalem in transition really, going to have a stoppage of play though. Looks like Slaughter's shaken up. Just a bench, not sure what's wrong with him. Averidis enters. Substitutions also come in for Jerusalem. There's Thomas and Lockett come in. Valdin and Bravo go out. Spins. Takes a tough three. First miss of the night for him. Brown now. Over to Black. Black waits for Zalmanson to screen for him. Now he's got the mismatch against uh, Mavaridis. His pass got deflected. Did find his target. So it was Mavaridis with the foul. It's Kendrick Gray comes in. Possession. Lock it to Zalmanson. Now Black. Black stops. Picks up his dribble. Zalmanson trying to create on his own, and he does so. The move from the big man. First points of the night for him. Chipped away. They've got it back to five now. Jerusalem. St. Roos tries to isolate off the screen. Gets to the baseline. Brown. So Ray, open three, does it go? And Thomas puts it on the floor. Zalmanson again sells the fake, steps underneath and scores. Well, a great run from Jerusalem to get themselves back into the game. The lead had stretched out to its largest just a short time ago. That was a 10-point advantage for Ike, but Jerusalem 
get themselves back within three now, under two left in this third quarter. from Zamerson, lovely spin move from him. And then Thomas putting on the floor, drawing the attention back to Zalmanson. Four points in a hurry for him. And he's got the crowd into this one, fires his team up. Back to live play now though. Ike will have the ball. Expect to see Medulis sliding into the post here. Trying to go to him against Jacoba Brown. Here he comes. Wide open. Medulis fading. But he doesn't go. And possession back with Jerusalem. Chance to tie on a three. Brown screen taking his time he's got the switch here brown steps to the side takes the three in and out and the rebound bounces to st Roos. all right bringing it down ray has it taken away from behind lock it in transition over to black they've got numbers Scrambled floor, but Black will slow, takes the three, doesn't get it. Jacoba Brown, the offensive rebound, and put back is good. Crowd into it now. An inspired last couple of minutes. St. Roos gets to the lane, back into the hands of Majulis. Now, Ray trying to find somewhere. Shot clock getting low. Ray's going to take a tough one. It doesn't go. And Jerusalem can take the lead. Going into the fourth quarter here. Black. No hurry for him. Tamir Black to Zalmanson. Short jump shot. Bounces in. Crowd on their feet. It is the lead for Jerusalem. Ray. Trying to find some room, picks it up, goes to Langford. Clock is getting low. Langford's three doesn't fall. And Jerusalem end the half with an 11-0 run to take the lead going into the fourth quarter. Incredible here. 61 plays 60. Applewell, Jerusalem over right. Just a moment ago, 50 to 60, the score in favour of Ike, but an 11-0 run for Jerusalem. Ike scoreless since uh, the 3.30 mark in that third quarter after starting so brightly at the start of the period. They've been pegged back. Now Jerusalem have taken the lead, their first lead since they led 23 to 21, way back in the first quarter.
Great atmosphere here in Jerusalem. The 11-0 run has got the crowd into the game. Momentum for a hometown team. Salmonson with those four quick points for him in the third quarter that really helped establish that. We are underway in the fourth period. Langford. And a turnover. Kendrick Ray. Trying to make a play. Gives it straight back to Jerusalem. Brown is out. Feldin is in. Jerusalem as they have Black, Feldin, Lockett, Thomas and Zalmanson out there for them. Now Kikas comes in to go with Langford, Matulis, Mavaridis and Howard St. Roos for Ike. There's young Tamir Black, current Champions League best young player. And in the ball, giving it over now, working to get it back. His pass deflected. Bounced around and is picked up by Majulis. Good defense for Mike. As Langford is foul. Langford then comes to bring it in on the side. He casts off the screen. Hans Mavaridis, Mavaridis waiting for Langford, gives it over to him safely. Ten of the clock, Mavaridis back to Langford. He's isolated now, a couple of jabs, takes the three. Keith Langford buries another one. Incredible the shooting display from Langford. Five of six from beyond the three-point line, 19 points for him. The response rattles out for Jerusalem, and here comes St. Roos. It will slow it, no. Nope. Attacks and draws the foul. Second team foul already against Jerusalem. Here it is. A couple of jabs. One, two. Langford buries it. Very tough finish indeed. 7 of 12 from the field, Langford, three assists as well. Salmonson goes to the bench. Rymo comes in. He casts his pass behind Mavridis. There's a great take, Langford again! Another one! 6 of 7 for Langford, 22 on the night. Five-point lead again for Ike. 14 threes now for them. Black flips it over to the far side. Feldin looking to Brimo. Brimo pushed to the floor. 3.4 seconds on the shot clock. Ball remains with Jerusalem. to bring it in. Goes high into the backcourt. Now comes Fires. Doesn't get it, rushed it. Knowing the shot clock was low. And now Langford feeling it with 22 personal. Surely who's going to look to keep this streak going now on the switch against Thomas Langford. Loses it off his foot. Just a bit too casual from him. A rare mistake. First turnover of the night against Keith Langford. 11th of the game. For Ike as Black goes out. Feldin. Now, Reimer to Thomas. Thomas trying to go against Mavridis. And he will get the score plus the foul. That was a matchup they liked early on in the game. Interesting to see how that ankle of Marcus Slaughter is. He went to the bench, Slaughter, limping. They could use his just uh, defensive ability right now against the quicker man in Thomas. It's 
Thomas at the line makes it. Slaughter just returned to the bench. I think he was up testing that ankle. See how it is. Remains planted to the sideline though. And the lead back to two. Ike with possession. And the advantage. 66 to 64. Langford into the lane. Kicks it. He casts wide open three. Mavaridis, the offensive rebound. That's what he can bring. As he's fouled by Bramo. Lucas trying to find someone to get it into. Tulis collects it safely. And it's 12 on the clock, now 10. Lucas is going to have to go here. Defense switches. Lucas turns it over. Brown, good hand on it. Picked up by St. Bruce. He's going to find Langford. A lot of time for Langford. And he makes yet another three. Third of the fourth quarter for Langford. 25 on the game for him. Seven of eight. Thomas. This time, Mavaridis got in front of him. Langford headed the other way. Goes to St. Bruce. For three. Once again, Ike. Scorching hot from beyond the three-point line. 17 threes in the game. 17 for 27 they are as a team. Look at that. St. Bruce just sets the feet and buries it. Well, that was after Langford made one of his own. What a turnaround here. Going into the quarter, I said the advantage, the momentum for Jerusalem. And now it will be tight and aggressive next on the length ball. Next show we finish the job with a good ball start. All right, with a 12 to 3 run. The second big, second big. To start this fourth quarter, there it is. Don't come too early. If you have no corner, empty side, use that corner. If you cannot pass the ball, we need second side. We need second side. Good low balance and continuation. There's one of the four of Langford. There's two. Three. Langford scorching the nets here. 25 on the game. Seven of eight for three. Incredible shooting, you know, from throughout this team. Langford and St. Roos between the pair, though. It's a foul is called. Quiet in the second half, James Feldy in there trying to get him on the flare. Shot clock to three. Jacoba Brown has got to force it up again and he gets the shot to drop. Good play from James Feldy. Sorry, from uh, Jacoba Brown, 11 for him on the game. A huge basket. Was for Jerusalem. This faded way strong. Eldin snatches in the rebound. They're not in a hurry yet, though, Jerusalem. So Jacoba Brown is off the screen and is fouled by Langford. 13 foul against Dyke. Said he's been quiet in the second half. Feldin makes an important one there. It's a 15 personal. <laughs> 
Feldin, big time three, cuts it to a three point game. Timeout bright. One every time you think it's over, looks like Ike has got the lead. They've got momentum. Back comes Jerusalem. They had their chance at the beginning of this quarter. That's Matulis on the low block. Has to power his way up against Brown. Does Mavaridis with a big offensive rebound? An extra possession for Ike. St. Urus finds Mavaridis and he'll get the score. Offensive rebounds really have been a backbreaker for Jerusalem in this game. Both Marcus Slaughter and Mavaridis doing their job. Feldin happens his way to the basket. He just takes a heavy fall. Let's see Mavaridis, the roll, a tough finish. Did well to keep it high. And he could get it up time before he ran out of space underneath the backboard. It's filled in. This is the first. It's the second. Seven and nine as a team. Jerusalem. Mike just four of eight on the free throw line. Offensive foul, great defense from Trent. Lock it, and it gets Langford there. Good work from the official. Langford said he's just trying to move his arm, but I think he went to grab the defender. Still in discussion. A four point game here. Brown waits for the screen. Thomas open on the foul line. Here he is, kicks it out. Lockett for three. Hasn't done much offensively, Trent Lockett. Just two points and a great addition defensively here tonight. Ski Cass brings it down. And look into Matulis in the low post. He's well guarded. Kevin Brown praying in front of him. And now Matulis finds some space and finishes it. Oh, just as I said, Jacob and Brown did a good job fronting it. Matulis found that little bit of space on a great feed from St. Bruce. Brown's chance to respond. Goes up high! Thomas with the finish! No, oh, I had nothing really. So Sean Thomas rolled. Jacob and Brown threw it over the top, pinpoint pass from uh, Brown. And it's a four-point game. Once more, Matula's slow post. Defense trying to get in and help. No whistle. Brown tried to draw the offensive foul. Feldy nearly lost it out of bounds. Primo, Thomas, back-to-back -back dumps for Tashon Thomas. Too many players rotated over to Suleiman Brimo. And he unselfishly found Thomas to make this a two-point game. So 
Timeout called by Ike. Two point game. 76 plays 74. There's the lob from Brown. Great pass to find Thomas. Defense just couldn't get back quick enough, I said. And then Marcus Slaughter in the game. Big loss for right. And then Rymo, the good feed for Thomas. Back to back dunks for Thomas. Moves him to 14 on the game. Six of eight from the field. Five rebounds, four assists as well. On to Sean Thomas. As Bravo <laughs> sucks it over for Matulis. Expect to see Langford here. And isolate Langford. He goes immediately to the basket. And it's taken away. Bravo swarmed down on the help, took it away from him. Brown. Again, this high screen with Thomas. Brown kicks it out. Feldino, open look in the corner. It's good. 19 for Feldin. Jerusalem have the lead. And their first lead since the start of this fourth period. And the foul is called. St. Bruce attacking the baseline. Brown back into this one. Part of the atmosphere. As Feldin knocks down the triple. Look over Brown has been pulling all the strings lately here. Fourth assist for him right there. As Gikas collects it. Pulls up, tough three. Gikas doesn't go, fight for the rebound, and it's Thomas. Once more into the hands of Jacoba Brown. Rymo for three, back-to-back -back threes for Jerusalem. They now have the four-point lead. Where was the defense for Ike? Just all fell apart. F. Rymo wide open, three for six for three. Langford trying to get it. Now successfully collects it, uses the screen. Thomas switches out, five seconds on the clock. Langford hesitates, goes, is fouled. And we'll be at the line for two. Langford stepping up when his team needs him. Earns his trip to the line. Yeah, good smart play. Let me see, how did the defense fall apart? I think they were trying to keep Mavaridis away from the ball screen. They couldn't rotate quickly enough, though. Brimo knocks down his third three of the night. Langford at the line. 25 points on the night. Free throws have been a problem for Ike as well as they've shot it from beyond the three point line. Now they're 59% from three point right now, but 44% from the line. Four of nine. Langford will take his second. 0 of 3 for Langford. Gets the roll on his second. Makes it a three point game. We're under two here. This is crunch time in the Basketball Champions League. Brown waiting. Calls out Thomas for the screen. Chrysokopoulos is in. Small lineup for Ike. Rusikopoulos now can switch this ball screen. Brown steps underneath, draws the foul, makes the shot as well. Jacobin Brown fired up. Oh, he's taken over down the stretch, Jacobin Brown. Sometimes the scorer, oftentimes the provider. On this occasion, he gets the switch against Brown, takes the hit. 
And so he gets the switch against Chrysikopoulos. Takes the hit, and Brown makes it a five point game. Free throw gets the friendly roll. Ray into the game. Hands it over. Langford back to Ray. He finds Chrysikopoulos. Doesn't go. Rebound taken from Thomas. Machulis trying to get to the rebound. Can't and commits the foul. 1-10 left. There will be two free throws here for Tashawn Thomas. 22 to 17 fourth quarter. It's good on number one for Thomas. 15 personal now for him. And he makes it. Largest lead of the game for Jerusalem, and what a time to do it. He hit one minute left here on this possession. Langford. Guarded so closely by Lockett, they'll switch with Feldin. He'll commit the foul. Langford at the line. Another miss from him. One of five now, Langford. Incredible, really. A man who shot it so well from beyond the three-point line. Seven of eight for three, but one of five from the free-throw line. Langford again. Makes it on this occasion. No timeouts. Jerusalem get it in. They make the first bit of pressure and a foul is called against Majulis. He wasn't trying to commit it though. He's particularly keen on the call from the referee. And so it'll be a trip to the line. is missed. It's Jerusalem's turn to go cold from the line. Lockett misses that one. Misses the second, but an offensive rebound from Bramo. New possession for Jerusalem. They can get another 10 seconds off the clock. Here, Feldin will take the three. Doesn't get it. Ray grabs the rebound. They've got to go quickly here, Athens. This game might be done, but they're going to try and bring this lead down as much as possible. Chrissy Coppolis over to Langford. They'll isolate him. Langford, another three. Can't get it. And the rebound taken in by Bromo. Brown pushes. He doesn't want to stop. Brown kicks it. Feldin. Thought about the three. Uh, brings it out. They'll hold for the final possession here. Feldin isolated against Chrissy Coppolis. Jacoba Brown happy. They'll keep playing though, Jerusalem. Feldin goes. His scoop bounces clear. And that will be the end of it here tonight. An impressive turnaround for Jerusalem. A big fourth quarter from them. Sees them win 85 to 78. They will move to 2 and 0 and be one of three teams in a group B still unbeaten. Well, oh, back and forth game, wasn't it? Jerusalem started the fourth quarter in the lead. I took control, opened up a double-digit lead. 
off the back of some very impressive three-point shooting. But back came uh, Jerusalem. And they take this one here, 85 to 78. The percentage is 55%, 16 threes from Ike on the night. But it wasn't enough for them. They had their problems at the free throw line. And so they went just 6 of 12. Oh, the score is Langford, incredible. Him in the backcourt with St. Roos and Gikas led the way for Ike. Feldin, Primo and Thomas for Jerusalem. And, and Deshaun Thomas really 6 of 8 from the field, 16.7 rebounds. The thorn in the side of Ike all night long, especially without the mobility of Marcus Slaughter across the front line for Ike. Going out with that uh, ankle injury, I think, late on after he had uh, really started to cause some problems on the glass, especially on the offensive end. So Jerusalem will get the victory here tonight. I said they will now move to 2-0 and zero in the Basketball Champions League. As they follow up the victory on the road in Bad Derma last week with one here tonight. And ne them next week, they will set up a top of the table clash already in game day three, as they will stay here in Jerusalem, facing off against unbeaten Rasta Vector from Germany. For Ike, after this loss, they will return back to Athens as they have Telnet's Giants Antwerp from Belgium coming to them. A highly entertaining game here though, as uh, Jerusalem will take it in the end, 85 to 78 over Ike. I'll say good night.